Sinimbu has never lost any election in Nigeria since 1999. Will history repeat itself this time around? Ashwa Chibola met Chinumbu, the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, is on the smooth part of history, having secured the ticket of the ruling party to fly its flag in the forthcoming general election. Chinumbu is now, is now throwing his heart into the biggest political ring for the first time. He merged the APC flag bearer after defeating about 14 other aspirants, including the sitting vice president. Yemi Ushibajo and Senate President Ahmed Lawan. The former Lagos State Governor will now square it up with the likes of Atiku Abubakar, who is the PDP candidate, Rabbi Musa Kwankwaso from the New Nigerian People's Party, Peter Obi of the Labour Party, and several women in Nigerians from other parties. If Tinumbu emerges winners, winner at the end of the contest, he will be one of the few living Nigerians who have never tasted defeat all through their political journey in the country. Since 1999 that Tinumbu won the governorship election in Lagos State, he has always been on the winning side despite various odds working against him. During the Obasanjo era, Tinumbu fought the biggest political battles of his life. He faced the political tsunami that blew all the AD governors out of power in various states and he survived it. He had on tie to Lagos State and kept the federal government at bay. After completing his two terms, he anointed Babatunde Raji Fashola as his preferred candidate who contested against the PDP candidate and won in two consecutive times. The number two also threw his weight behind other governorship candidates who were robbed of their victories in other states and helped them recover their mandate through various court judgments. Among them include Rahu Faragbe Shola in Ashun State, Kawede Fayemi in Nikiti, Olusha Gumi Miko of Ondo State. Despite his political strength and electoral weight, Tinumbu never put his eyes on the presidency in those days. In 2013, there was an alliance among the different opposition parties which later metamorphosed into the All Progressive Congress. President Mahmoud Buhari who until then had lost presidential primaries three consecutive times under CPC, was dragged along to try his luck for the fourth time under the new major party, APC. He eventually won the election, ending the 16 years' rule of the People's Democratic Party. According to various reports, it was gathered that Tinumbu played a critical role in sending PDP government out of power and installing the APC administration. This was confirmed in a statement some days ago in the Bay Quota during his meeting with the state delegates ahead of the just concluded APC presidential primary. Having secured the party ticket, the number will now be giving it a shot for the first time at the presidency. Will history repeat itself this time around for a man who has never lost in an election in his lifetime? There's something definitely working for Tinumbu, and this may also work for him in 2022. But presidency is a tough one. It's not unlike the state government that the stakes are not as high, but at the national level, the stakes are very high. The interests are very high, both within and outside this country. Those that want is their candidate that must be there. They are ready, and the electorate still have their part to play. Will his candidacy bring about people going out, coming out to vote for him at the, pre at the presidential election? Will there be a party of voters or will there be mobilization of people to go out and vote? How many times has he been contesting and this time he's, doing, he's going to lose? You will all regret your action after Tinubu becomes president, mark my word. That is why he will never be Nigerian president. 2023 presidential election will surely be his first time of losing an election. You either take it or leave it. Are you giving him glory for winning those elections? It is the grace of God that helped him to win, not by any of his sagacity or wise. If he boasts of his, in his capacity, God will humble him when it matters the most. And that God's grace will continue to follow him. If God can help him to humble Shubajo, and God can still always be there for him, until Tinunbu mandate will stand. Oshibajo is not a politician. If Tinunbu wins over him, it's not a big deal. Okay, God is not asleep. 
That is one thing I can assure you. 2023 may be different. He must definitely give you a new Nigeria, if only you can sincerely seek him, this time around to avoid repeating of the votes the same people, including Tinubu, have caused this country. Go, get ready for a big fall. This time, cause Nigeria is too big for your winning. There's always a first time in one slide, but let's truly allow God to decide. And you people are praying to rule this country one day with this your hatred, I doubt. Tinubu has never lost an intention since 1999, yes. Tinubu has never contested presidential election, yes. Tinubu has never contested A against Atiko OB, yes. Tinubu will lose to either Atiko OB, yes. That's a comment from another person. Tinubu is just like Madrid football team. Victory is always 100, already 100% 100 sure for a Shwaju Bolamed Tinubu in the next year presidential election. We already know that Jagaban of Bogu is going to win in that election. Number one, he will lose, he will lose a dose state. There is a, always a first time. Pray he stays alive, stay dead. With his bullion van, Tinumbu always assists people with his word. But you people are miser. Tinumbu never planned to contest that seat when a, a new structure never covered the entire country. He was very hard by empowering others to political seats all over. And with his connection, cash and all his wisdom, now he has never lost a election and cannot lose now. Watch out, some senators are planning to defend and this might lose, this might cost him some loss. The game has just begun. A shaking ancestor cannot rule a shaking country. Shaky, shaky, go away. APC will receive the shock of their lives come 2023. The youth are here to retire off the old cargoes. OB is the answer. Shock, 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 await all of them. How many elections are Tinubu contested for since 1999? Just two governorship elections, I beg, make we hear what. He so he must win, I be. He will definitely win. Baba, you need rest, please. Why not enjoy your remaining days on earth? He will not lo only lose, but shamelessly be destroyed. <clears throat> history can be broken to another history. 2023, he will lose woefully. That means you are not good in history because you don't know what you are saying. Don't worry, he will lose this one record, don't last forever. Titinumbu has never lost an election in Lagos State and not in Nigeria. That does not make him a hero to be a champion. You must throw all those of life up and down and your ability to scale through makes you a man. And if you have not failed election before, you cannot say he's coming to win this one come 2023. By the time ANEC released the result of 2023 presidential election, your eyes will be clear and you will not know that Tinumbu is the brave political hero and champion. Whoever well, his own opinion, he has never lost an election before and is coming to the national stage. Is he going to win? Kindly make your opinion to know as you subscribe to my page. Thank you, good day, and God bless.